CS Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes, tamu. Yesterday William Ruto attended a church service at AIPCA St. Joseph Kikopei Gilgil Nakuru County. And then during that function there is a preacher who said some things that Kenyans are still wondering and shocked. And for the better part of yesterday and today, that video has been going viral. So I want you to have a glimpse or rather watch at that short clip after which as usual, we are going to dissect it and put it squarely where it belongs politically. Have a look at this clip. Wanao kukibisha wanao kukibisha watakufia hapo Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wanao fikiria hata watashika ruto kwa sababu amekunywa giri moja au kunywa giri mbili hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Waacheni mchezo jameni Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii mambo ya kitadawili Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wanao fikiria hata watafikia deputy president atendi wakunywa giri mbili mimi kama askofu nitasema wako Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes. Listening to that man speak, I just don't know whether to refer to him as a man of God, a preacher, or a politician. I just don't know because he seems to be wearing both caps. He's wearing one cap of a preacher and another cap of a politician. Yes. So, what does that mean? Or rather, what can we learn from that whole incident? That's our analysis and discussion today. There are five things, ladies and gentlemen, that I can draw from that incident. Five things. The first thing is the influence of money in the contemporary church, or rather the influence of money in our church today. And it also just shows of how greed has also penetrated our churches because of money. Yes. Listening to that man speaking, um, I, I tend to believe or I'm fully convinced that he's speaking the way he's doing because most likely he has been given some money. And you will largely agree with me on that. That man is speaking under the influence of money. So in a nutshell, it simply means that if you give more money, you are celebrated. If you give little, then you are despised. In this case, William Ruto seems to have given him some good money. And that's why he's even reading the Bible and translating it in a way that can make William Ruto happy. Mm. In a way that can soften William Ruto's heart, maybe even to give more and more. So it just exposes that greed has penetrated our churches today and that greed has been brought about by the influence of money in our churches. That comes out very, very clearly. Another point that we can also draw from that, or something that also comes out clearly, you know, from the tone that man is, the kind of tone that man is using, or from the kind of, the way he's speaking, is, to me, He's appearing as somebody who is very, very aggressive. Hmm? Very aggressive and very abusive. You know, to refer to some people as Vitenda Willi, you know, to Raila supporters, calling Raila mtu wa Willi, some Raila supporters feel you are abusing them. Hmm? So it beats logic that a man of God who should use words that can bring people together is actually using words that is just causing hatred and animosity. Mm -hmm. Using such word, eh, that's not somebody who is bringing people together. That's somebody who is just actually brewing hatred among the people. So to me, this man fails the test of a true man of God. And I won't be wrong to say that most likely, listening to that man speaking, most likely, He's a fake man of God. He's not a true man of God. He, he has to be fake. And also sometimes, Mark, we saw one saying that, Raila, I don't know, never, 
CSG 2021, actually he passed on and Raila is still there. Life belongs to God and it's only God who gives life and takes it. So this man most likely is a fake man of God. That comes out very, very clearly. The third point, ladies and gentlemen, it also shows, ladies and gentlemen, how low our churches took. And it reminds me of <coughs> on that day in the, in the biblical times when Jesus stormed the synagogue and he, he had to literally <coughs> whip people out of the church. He carried people out of the church. If Jesus were alive today, I know such kind of preachers. Those ones could be could really receive good whips if Jesus was alive and Jesus if Jesus was alive today. Mm. Those are the kind of people who could be killed seriously <laughs> with Jesus. Jesus could have killed them. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, it in a nutshell, it just shows that the church has stooped too low. It's no longer the church we used to know, but it's now proving to be just like any other any other ordinary arena where politicians can go to attack one another. And now it's even becoming worse because even now the church leadership itself are now attacking others. Hmm? So is the politicians attacking others in the church? The church leadership also attacking others in the church. So the church has been reduced into an arena where politicians go to abuse others and to attack others. It's no longer a sacred place a place of worship. Yes. The fourth point, ladies and gentlemen, this one is now on William Ruto. It's on William Ruto. It's on William Ruto. I tend to believe that this, is, this thing is all happening because of William Ruto's determination to get votes. So it just shows that as William Ruto is only trying to get votes, he's actually succeeding in destroying our churches. He's largely succeeding. Because, because if a church preacher or a church minister can talk the way that man is talking, mm -hmm. if a church minister can talk the way that man is talking, and we have seen others, not even this one alone, even one predicted that some very, very funny things. We have seen very many of them giving out some very, very funny pron pron pronouncements. So it shows that actually William Ruto has succeeded in destroying our churches. That's also something that comes out clearly. And then finally, you know, the church used to be a voice of reason in the society. And the church also was a place where actually the masses or humanity eh, could be panel beaten into some kind of morality. Mm. Mm. You go to church maybe to be panel beaten into some kind of a, moral, of a moral person. But it seems to appear from that man they are talking that the church is no longer the voice of reason in the society. Mm. And the church is actually also stands accused. Mm. It also stands accused. Because now, I believe the church should be bringing people together. Whether there is a discord, the, the church should be bringing some form of accord. But now that man speaking is actually separating people. Eh? It's dividing people. Mm. Abusing others with tenderly, and then you press others. And is it even reading the Bible and quoting the Bible in a way that befits him? <laughs> I tend to believe the church is no longer a voice of reason in the society. That also comes out very, very clearly listening to that man. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, let me just remind you, in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time. In this channel, we do a daily political analysis on current and latest political news and events. So if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe and also give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. Thank you. God bless you. And to those watching us outside Kenya, for the very, very first time, 
drop a comment. Let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Drop a comment, please. Drop a comment. And also, if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe and also give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. And to our fans and subscribers in this YouTube channel, I'm very, very much humbled and very, very grateful with the kind of support you are giving me here by constantly giving our videos likes, constantly dropping our comments. That's largely what is making our channel to grow at this faster rate. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very much humbled and very, very much pleased. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana. Tamu sana. Tamu sana. And before I forget, before I forget, if you are also a fan of us in this YouTube channel, you love our videos, but you have not yet subscribed. I know we have such kind of people. Kindly take this opportunity today, all right? or rather now, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. Also kindly give this video a like. God bless you. God bless Kenya.